What's up, guys? It's the only Ninja Warrior Gamers and a Superhero Hat bringing you the first podcast on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel and TikTok and everywhere else that I end up putting this on. But I'm not going to wear this all day because I'm inside. Put this as a boomerang on your Tinder. Ooh, that way, no. it's, that way it's everywhere. That's you know? a 45 minute boomerang. A good idea, though. <laughs> a 45 minute boomerang. Oh. Just going back and forth <laughs> between the 45 minute podcast anyway what's up guys? what's up honestly guys? though it's over and over it i'm about over. it yeah no all right so here's the thing we have topics that we're gonna have do you want me to use a real name no call him flat flat, flat works yeah. what so, is his real name? <laughs> it's flat shit now it's gonna i be knew flat. it i knew it we got so flat behind the camera. we're gonna talk about questions these guys are martial artists they've been trained with me for a long time as you know you, we all know who I am, so I'm not going to waste time introducing I don't know myself. Who you are. Well, I was brought that would be street. too bad. <laughs> that was against my will. That would be a shame. Um, speaking of, Joel, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, my name is Joel Messenger. I've been training martial arts for 17 years. I've been explaining physics and math and why things that he wants to do aren't possible to him and his followers for about five years now? Give or take. Five years. Give yeah, or take. Five years. And uh, I've been in martial arts organizations, both in performance-wise and teaching with both of these guys for my, you know, since I've been able to breathe. Childhood. Pretty much, yeah, childhood. And sure. why? Uh, I'm why Mitch. I, uh, I just like to fight, and I like to go do competition top style martial arts like wrestling and MMA and shit. So I'm here to give a little more of the fight fighting competitive kind of perspective and that's what saying. this is going to be in, ending up i chose these guys specifically because he has a lot more of the ufc style boxing the more competition focused the fun fight um sport fighting versus a more militaristic look in and joel here and as you all know i'm all about the flair and so that's why you know god i feel that spot but we're gonna jump to our first question and the first question is a uh, a hot topic here on my, oh my channel. Gosh. Just a little bit of a hot topic. Hot topic. All right, everybody. Is boxing effective for self-defense purposes? <laughs> Hold on. One, two, three. No. no. Yes. Yeah, no. Not. For self-defense, no. It's not. And here. And here's why. Like, yeah, yeah. boxing is great. It teaches you like good stuff. It teaches you how to punch. It, it teaches you how to punch. It, how to, it, how it to take you hits. How, it teaches you how to fight people. How to take a hit. Yeah. No. Right? No, no. No. It's but it. It, but it lacks realist realism. Like we, it, you thing. don't have you don't have rules in a street fight. No, yeah. and seriously, it, it's based around a competition. I mean, not mm -hmm. to not to belittle it or anything, because there's a million boxers out there that can bust my ass. Exactly. Okay, a million of them. But it is rules, and it's centered around. It is essentially a game, for lack of a better mm -hmm. word, because there are rules, there are points, and then there's a winner decided by judges. And there's a referee. Yeah, exactly. And like, it, like it, it seriously is a game. And I mean, part of that is so nobody dies, okay? And part of the rules are so like you know, it's not just dick punches to see, okay? <laughs> like I understand, yeah, like the the part of it is to base it around and create a better fight, but. More than anything that's surprising is that what I thought was that everybody knew this. And I thought I that... I did too! I th because I thought that until like people comment on your videos. Well, I don't know if they like... If everyone on your channel just really likes Rocky. I don't know <laughs> if... I don't know if they just... You know, they all saw... What's, what's that one Miles Teller movie where he's a boxer... Uh, Bleed for this. I don't oh, know. Okay. I, don't, I thought yeah. you were talking about creep. Yeah, no, no, but no. like, I, I don't know if they just watch enough creep boxing movies. Movie. I don't know if it's just, but movie. like, yeah, it's but, just, it's, it's, honestly, it's. Funny. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. It misses out on three major points for me. It misses out on fighting in groups or how to handle groups in any mm -hmm. any yeah. like situation. Because nine times out of ten, if someone's about to fight you, they probably have a friend nearby or two. Yeah, exactly. The, the second thing is that it doesn't touch weapons. So if someone has a knife, someone grabs a bat, someone has literally anything in their hands, keys, whatever, it doesn't touch on any of that. And the third thing it doesn't touch on is ground work. Because like, if you're fighting and you go to the ground and you only know boxing by itself mm -hmm. without anything else, you don't know what to do on the ground. Yeah, no. I think you're neglecting something else is forgetting. I think it's just right there in your mind, too. It's uh, the bottom half of your body. 
Yeah, yeah. kicks. <laughs> you kick. Yeah, exactly. you don't know how to kick or take kicks. Yeah. Uh, groin punches are a thing in street fights. Like, like, like you said, it's a competition. No, it when is. you get to the re- the real world, right? When it comes to self defense, it's defending yourself from an attacker, right? Oh yeah. If someone wants to attack you, are they gonna ask? Go, hey. Do you want to fight? No, they're not going to go, hey, no. do you want to fight? They're going to come up and they're going to punch you in the face. 100%. It doesn't matter if you're a good boxer. If someone sucker punches you, you're still going to get hit. Exactly. Well, and like, here's what it is for me too. It's like, that that goes for martial arts as well. That's not just yeah. boxing. Okay, like, like I, I, boxing for me, it's because boxing is a sport or a game. But like, you go into any, you know, Taekwondo, ta- any martial art made before uh, the Israelis got into the game mm. is not going to be like really strictly, tight. it's not going to be for fighting. It's because it, half of it, martial art, half of it is designed to, to be, be an art. Exactly. It's designed to, exactly. to hold history, to play. No. Like This is not just strictly to boxing, but the moment you start yelling at boxing in, in uh, the Modern Ninja's comment section, apparently, it's, I just... Oh, I like, for those it. of you that don't know, I did a video talking about this exact topic a oh, while yeah. ago, mm. and people got mad. Oh, people hilarious. might be getting mad right now. You might be in the comments right now getting mad. You gotta... No, I'm saying talk to this camera. Oh, yeah. People might be... <laughs> He's used to talking to his phone. I'm used to talking to my phone. But yeah. I mean, hey. it's facts. Yeah. But pe- regardless, people okay. are like... Perception. I don't know why people don't like... People like feel offended. Like I'm saying that boxing's I guess it's cause bad. Because I'm like, yeah, not you're, saying you're boxing's talking bad. Boxing. Boxing's not like in no way a bad thing. If you want to learn boxing, that doesn't mean you're less... You know, that's, that's not helpful for you at all. Boxing, I think, is like... Really good. It doesn't make you not a badass either. Yeah, like, it, it, it's crap. a base. Yeah, but it's not. It's not it's enough a, on its own. But it's a good base to start off with. Yeah, and uh, you're getting also, mad. If we comments. have any yeah. comments about it's this, just, a lot of people saying hi. Oh, oh, what's up, guys? Yeah, what's up? Well, <laughs> if you're getting mad about this, if, if hey, if boxing is boxing. A, is a pure self yeah, defense, there are yeah, there are time. there are things time. in boxing right that can't help in self defense. Right? Oh, yeah, because one, guy. one, mm-hmm. let's say, like, like I said earlier, you get sucker punched, you can't stop that. If you, if you, you're in say boxing or some kind of combat like kickboxing mm-hmm. or uh, taekwondo tournaments, mm-hmm. you learn how to take a punch. You can get hit and probably and keep fighting. Yeah. Right. So someone's not trying to just knock you out from the street. Now, I don't think the same sentiment goes for UFC, even though UFC is still sport. It. UFC prepares you differently, and that's why it you gives don't you everything. exactly. Yeah. And that's why you and don't see you boxers jumping from boxing to UFC. You see UFC fighters, Some MMA fighters, reasons. going to boxing, not yeah. the other way around. For yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah, yeah. and then you get the like, MMA fighters going to boxing and then losing. Yeah, right? because exactly. the, because those are just boxers. Exactly, you're exactly. Set into a very because they play the, because they play the game better. Okay. They're like this yeah. cardio, this I body endurance. Oh, okay, what's the best martial arts to start with. What is the best martial arts Ooh. to start with? That is a good question. Okay, so that's it's a it's kind of depending on what that you want to do it with. That was Mega Link Zero. Mega yeah, Link I guess, Zero. Yeah, I guess it also depends on what you're what you're looking it, for. It depends on what your goal right? is, because like if your goal is to do like movie stuff mm-hmm. and uh, stunt fighting and show say, like, showman like the, the like the XMA type of stuff, Taekwondo, Taekwondo uh, Kung uh, Wushu Kung Fu is a great right. one. Yeah, like that's. That's the base for that. It's not the greatest for like you know if you want to yeah. get into you brawling, if you want to yeah. get into the fighting. If you want to get into competitive, like in blood sport fighting, right? Like that's not a for me. I would think whatever martial art to start with, the best martial art to start with is the one that's most convenient for you, just to get into that's it, awesome. get into yeah. it, get yeah. in a dough box, a gi, workout clothes, whatever. Okay, but get. Mm-hmm into it get lined up and start experiencing the culture because it doesn't really matter you're not gonna if you it's learn a, Krav Maga around, first the same around everything mm-hmm. the, yeah. same, the same mentality There's, follows through most martial exactly. arts whatever you learn first is not gonna mess you up for everything else whatever you mm. practice the most is what messes you up is what is gonna mess you up like I've done several other martial arts obviously I, I hold the highest rank in Tong Soo Do but like because I do Tong Soo Do the most, Tong Soo Do bleeds into it, and the habits from that affect my other martial arts the most. Yeah. So, and, mm-hmm. for, and it doesn't matter because if I I like this martial art, if I didn't like this one, and I was like, you know yeah. what, I wanted to go Where do kendo, do I can just trade right on over. Because again, especially here, right, it's a service. You know, you're not you're not committing yourself to a lifetime of training or whatever. You don't have to. Just start with something. And get in the dojang, get in. At the base, when you're first starting and you don't know what you're doing, 
it doesn't matter. All the basics are the same. A punch, oh, yeah. you're going to learn how to punch. You're going to learn how to do your basic kicks. Obviously, for boxing, you're not going to learn how to kick, which is, no. you know, back to the first point. But punches are always basic. But punches, punches are the same no matter what. are the same. You, you can punch straight up, you can punch horizontal, but it's going to be the same. You're going to learn the same fun. basics throughout your beginning. Yeah. And then um, you, yeah. Before we switch topics, though, uh, get the next topic ready, unless we have another question. But first, if you are enjoying this, definitely drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment. Let me know what questions you want us to answer in the future so um, you know we can answer them for you. So I would but, love to talk about. Yeah. I would say on, on this topic, though, like definitely the one thing you need to be careful of, not necessarily starting with the wrong martial art, mm -hmm. but for staying in the wrong martial art. If you get into yeah. a martial art it depends on and you're school. like, hey, I'm not learning, like, not necessarily like, oh, you know, I'm a green belt, not advancing fast enough, or, oh, I want to learn this stuff. But if you are able to look up at your dons, your black belts, mm -hmm. whatever you call them, and you say, hey, this is not what I want to be doing. I don't want to do Tai Chi for several years of my life. Well, then you need to get out. You yeah. need to understand yeah. where your martial arts journey is heading. And if you don't like the destination, one, recognize that there's nothing wrong with that. And two, recognize that it's your money you're paying to train. And you need to stop paying for that. And you need to find something else you do like. You, have, you have to acknowledge what you want to use it for. If you want to do it for the stuff that I do on my channel and the stuff you can see on TikTok, then there are arts that can help you for that. And once you get the basic, there are arts you can switch to, like Taekwondo, like uh, Wushu Kung like boxing, Fu, that you know, will see. help you get that. All if you're trying stuff. to do, what would you suggest for um, like a, a sport fight, a blood fight? Blood fight. Well, it, depends, blood, it, it all depends on what you're trying to do, right? Because there's a lot of different. Uh, Sports, right? If you're kickboxing, you want you want to be. A, I mean, you go to the yeah. kickboxing school. You want to box. Mm -hmm. Find a boxing gym. There's boxing gyms everywhere, right? Uh, if you want to be an MMA fighter, go take up anything you can because you need all of it. Very yeah. true. Like no, if, legit. Yeah. I, I came from. We all came from what traditional Tom martial arts. Yeah, we all came from. And Chicago. again, it transfers to everything. Exactly. If you want to so, be an MMA fighter, and you know everything. Yeah. Get everything. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. And to to that, end, what do you think is the most effective martial arts style? Hmm. Application. It, it depends on the application. It, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent matters how well like you gotta make you, you, you can learn. Whoever it. asked, who asked that question? That was not. That was not. Oh, that okay. was one of our Shit, questions. That's right. So, one of our questions. Well, I mean, I guess I. So you can. We, let's let's, let's like, section that up. Break then. it okay. down. Yeah, break it down. So let's say, just for stand up fighting. Stand up fighting. Our best martial art overall. So best I would say fighting. I would say Muay Thai or Krav. Krav Maga. Krav Maga. Just from lethality. Yeah, Krav Maga. Well, like, if, that's, you're, if you're trying to stand up and do the most amount of damage for like the most amount elbows, of people, right? I'd say yeah. a mix of the Krav Maga and the Muay Thai because the Muay Thai elbows all and about knees, knees and like, clinch stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and Krav has like a little bit of ground with like, you know, like kind of the joint locks that we just have uh -huh. a little yeah. bit of that, that's, yeah. that's, so that's, that's for if you're, learning, that's for if right. you're learning it for fighting. Right. However, if you're learning it for like a workout, for like exercise, doing like... So, doing yeah, like either Tai Chi thing. for the flexibility that you get from that, or oh, so. doing um, like uh, either Shotokan Karate or Taekwondo for the very strict lines oh, that, and that, that kind of easy to learn. Be, so oh, yeah, let's make sure. Well, I like well, we're breaking that down into categories. Right. So stand up fighting, like Muay Thai crop. We're kind of all on remote. Yeah, right? definitely more Thai crop. One hundred percent. So what so, about like exercise? Let's do exercise. So now. for exercise ones. So you like said yeah. Tai Chi? Tai Chi is a great one just because it gets you the flexibility that basically Honestly, no martial art does uh, yeah. other than like yeah. yoga. Because uh, yeah, I've yeah, almost yeah. Pulled, pulled muscles several oh, times yeah. just trying to just time. working out. Right? All the time. And being more flexible always helps that. I would say like like um, kickboxing or I don't know. Boxing is your thing. Kickboxing and boxing. Because like, cause like Cause exercise wise, well, you, you are you, running, you yeah, are jumping. Exactly. You're if you want to go, if you want to get, if you want to just drop weight, you want to get skinny, right? You want to build some muscle and try to be in your best physical shape. Do a kickboxing, kickboxing or a box, even a boxing gym. Yeah. Like those people just run you. Exactly. Until you're tired. So yeah, we got so we got kickboxing then for exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, what about ground fighting? I I got it's almost nothing the, here. Okay, so, so I, don't really I know think, you, I, I think judo. I know a little bit. Judo not for for get for here's judo's thing. getting to them. Yeah, judo. Yeah, no, but judo's throwing people. Here's the, judo's the judo's not bad though. Okay, because if you right. if you know how to if throw, you know how to ground I've, fight, half, part of the fight is getting the fight getting them like to the ground. Once, I like, seriously got another. I defer to I defer to Wyatt on this one. Do yeah, like what fighting? what do you what do you well, suggest? I mean, it is. I mean, jujitsu is really just, hot right now. Yeah, it's just sure. jujitsu mm -hmm. and wrestling. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing. What would you say here's the thing. 
Well, I don't. Ah, I say wrestling. Uh, they're both wrestling's race. limited, Re- though. No, well, but no, no, no. Here's here's why. Yeah, That's and Greco Roman. Here's why wrestling's good. I think no matter what, wrestling is always good because wrestling teaches you when on the ground how to be on top and mm-hmm. stay on top. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. This is true. And no, it teaches you how to control. If you're in a fight, even not even if you're in a fight, if you're defending yourself, who's the guy winning? The guy yeah. on the bottom or the guy on top? Yeah. Guy is, on top. Is mm-hmm. wrestling a martial art though? And can, I, I consider I, one. Does, does uh, rest? Does like do wrestling gyms exist outside of like training for the Olympics or high school? Yeah. I actually don't know. I, no. Yes, they do. I've like, seen. Like, them. Can, can, could I've I go some. out right now and join like a wrestling gym? Is oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, there, there's some in Texas. I think it's more of a niche thing, so okay. you'll only find it in bigger areas. Okay. So, like, if you live in a small town, I don't think you're gonna find a yeah. wrestling gym. Right. However, mm-hmm. but and especially you, like, if you now have a with high all school, the stuff going on, but you have a high school. You can join the wrestling yeah. team. If you have, if you have, if you have a college, they have a wrestling team. That yep. You don't have to be part of the college, college to join necessarily. If you right. want to learn, you wrestling, do have to be part of the team. The However, line. if you want to work out, if you want to yeah. join that class, you can just sign yeah, up yeah. for that class. Okay. And so those that, guys, and also that's another good one for fitness. Yeah, yes. wrestling. That's a really honestly big all cat. of them are good for fitness, just not ideal if fitness is your only goal. Yeah, if you that's don't want. If you're one of the if people that you don't want, just go to the gym. Yeah. Yeah. If fitness yeah. is your only goal, don't do martial arts. Yeah, but well, I mean, if you Tai Chi have, still works. Tai Chi still like works. It, it, fitness. Well, you can. You, I mean, you can just do regular mm-hmm. stretches, yoga. calisthenics, or yoga, and, and you get that out of Tai Chi. I think this is like if we're looking at it from a martial from arts standpoint. Yeah. Yourself, it fighting. comes down to like, hey, I want to get fit while learning a little bit of some sort of application, be it like a sport capability or like actual. So we can art. throw yoga. But I think I think that gets us the three. Main categories. If you have more categories or whatever, uh, you can put it down the there. Less violent practices like Aikido fit in. Like oh well, that would be. I think Aikido is the one. It's not throws, right? It's just no. Well, it's, 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 it's throws. It's, it's like it's like redirecting them. Well, then that's that's and, in a and way putting like them judo. down without actually hurting. Like okay, now judo, judo you toss people. Yeah, judo you. It's but here's judo the thing. Those the things are really nice for people that w- don't want to like hurt people when they're defending themselves. <sighs> yeah. But the problem is. That requires a skill level and a practice level that's so high. Yeah. In order to get to that level, it has to be your lifelong thing. In order to make yeah. those types of martial it's arts those effective ones. Gotta, for actual self defense, well, you have to master. And for me, with like Aikido and Hapkido, like like the circular motions, the ovular motions, and like mm-hmm. redirecting energy. Okay, I've I've done a little bit of it. Okay, I've, I've gone to several clinics. I've gone to a few classes, and man, I I can tell you. Unless you are, you've been doing it for absolutely years. It requires a willing opponent. Yeah. But you know, it's again, it's based around a shape. I see it as a martial art, but I see it fitting in on the art side of that spectrum, right? You got more okay, yeah. the art. Uh, it is. I look at it. Huge amount of art. It obviously has this place. I agree. Because like I know that like a lot of a lot of like uh, law enforcement people will do aikido or hot keto because and it's a I lot think of... mix it's a good art to mix with yeah so it, it will teach you, you a, it teaches you a lot of good materials and techniques that you can use to mix with other martial arts to yeah. make yeah, it like more it effective judo overall or yeah. correct if you, if you do mix, mix it with judo you have to take it to the ground somehow um, right? and then you can add in boxing for a good stand up so that you yeah, have yeah. that multi level you can handle yeah. yourself on different levels whether you're standing up on the ground somewhere in between but it's definitely a bridger between fighting positions it's yeah. not I would not see as a stand or you know I guess you could go unless unless you master it unless, yeah, and I'm unless not gonna, you master I'm not going to master Ken Ken's uh, Akira was bullshit you know like okay, <laughs> everything everything has its place in, in the world Every, Just some okay, people have higher tiers as much as it hurts my soul to say it okay everything has a place including Capoeira okay but what like yeah yeah, it has a place. Yeah, it has yeah, a place. It's, have a place. Yeah, it's oh, on yeah. the art end of the spectrum. It is definitely on the it's art on end the, of the spectrum. It's on the dancing okay. side, the painting side. Of and it. there's a reason for it. Okay, but but it definitely but is not. in the art side. Yeah, so I think I think it would just fit in as like you know just you have to look so, at it as a spectrum. Question: This is just came up because mm-hmm. I watched. I don't know if you've seen this. This uh, Deadliest Warrior, I think yeah, it was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah, of course that Spike. That show was yeah, awesome. it was great. Was but they did an episode where they. They measured kick powers, mm-hmm. and um, they had the um, the Krav Maga guy do a super powerful kick yeah. that was incredibly powerful. But and there and everyone was like, "Oh, so they have the strongest kicks? They have the best kicks?" No, because it took him so long to throw it. 
Right. Like, you can have a powerful kick and it still be not effective. Yeah. Where are you going with this stuff? Like, like, what I'm saying is, the reason I'm saying this is because I can see this coming up in the comments. Oh, yeah, Is yeah. the fact that just because something is powerful doesn't mean yeah. it's effective. Yeah. Just because, you know, you could... It's a powerful. You can drive a semi into something and destroy it. But the power required and the time required if oh, you're yeah. trying to hit someone small... They can step out the way. Right, and I'm, 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 yeah. so I remember all, right, and we'll pull up technique. The, we'll pull up the clip in it. I remember right, like that show was pretty awful at measuring like everything with like one metric, like, yeah, with, just to make it seem like it wasn't the best. Play. Well, because the other thing too is like you know they had the one Krav Maga guy they brought in, and he kicked the bag, right, or he kicked the little pressure pad. Yeah, yeah. And then they had whatever they were comparing it against. He came and he kicked the pad, and that was it. They had two guys doing two different kicks. The Krav Maga guy does Krav. He was just built more. Yeah, like, he was just strong. He was just literally was a just larger intense. guy. Like, so I, mean, I, that, I think that was that was dumb. I think that idea of, of a show was dumb. Like, hey, you're going to measure. You need to measure uh, 15 but different points of doubt. Yeah. yeah like, well, they'd cut like three, four looked, kids at a time. It was right? super <laughs> impressive. <laughs> no, but, no, it was no. fun. It was a no, fun show. I liked it. But I thought that they just... They really narrow the scope a lot of times, and especially when it came down to like f things that had to do with physics that the three dudes doing the show didn't understand. Like any time a firearm came into play, oh yeah, like, so is that your favorite show? And they brought in the the Rangers versus like the KGB. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah or I the thought, Spetsnaz. They did the yeah, Spetsnaz. they brought the Spetsnaz, and they're doing all their like stupid combat roles, and then the, the Rangers like, yeah, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep, nope. No, yeah, I'm gonna, not at all. I'm going to crouch and then bang, <laughs> bang, bang, done. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just, and, you know, and that, but that was the thing. It's like the Spetsnaz guys had a lot of mobility. He had a lot more yeah. mobility down low. And as stupid as it looked, he was able to keep his weapon lower. He was able to fire at more targets, hit more of them faster, but he wasn't able to stand up and move faster. And they were like, hey, this I, goes by who completes this obstacle course first. So, so okay, yeah, cool. There we go. That, uh, how do I know which soldier's Sounds better, good. though? Yeah. So since y'all are starting to already go in that direction, uh, what is your favorite martial arts movie and why? Ooh. Starting to go oh, oh, this is a yeah, hard one. Oh, my, my, Wait, uh, so is it martial arts movie or movie mar with martial, martial arts? Martial arts movie. Oh, because so, uh, those are two different answers. No, yeah, no. they are different. Those are two martial different answers. Martial arts movie. It Man. Done. Never watched it. Can That's you it. You've never watched what? It Man? It Man. Oh my gosh. It Man. Just what? Brrr. Boom. Are you serious? I'm serious. I've never watched We're watching It Man after we get off <laughs> stream, bro. We're <laughs> okay, watching It Man. Because I'm going to be the basic bitch and say the karate kid. Everyone <laughs> chastised this guy <laughs> oh for God. not having seen It Man. You're going to say karate kid? Which one? Oh, if you say Jaden Smith. <laughs> if you say Jaden Smith, I'm going to be so it, mad. I only had to think about it because I really like Jackie Chan. But the first one. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. original. Okay. The OG 80s one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that's, that's mostly... No, that's a lie. That's a lie. I, okay. I know which one of my favorite is. You're talking uh, about my phone. My favorite one is a Bruce Lee movie. Um, what's the, what's the one in Italy? The Big Boss. Of course it is. Big Boss is my favorite. First off, no, hold on. One, that was my first ever martial arts movie. I never watched a martial arts movie. Really? Yeah, that's your first something else. Like, like, other than like the Three Ninjas or like other than like Teen like a Teenage Mutant like Ninja Turtles. I'm sorry. Blown out your mic. Other than <laughs> other than like two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'd never seen a mo uh, martial arts movie before you that. Serious? I never oh, watched one. Bruce Lee movie was the, my first martial arts movie. Hold and on. I honestly liked the fight but scene like, like in the back alley and in the. It was in dope. The, no, it was good. But like, to I be fair, you're chastising like he went his whole life without watching that. That was 2009. He was seven. That's fair. No, he that's was fair. seven years old. I was like eight. It's acceptable to see your first martial arts movie at seven. I figured it would be like Three Ninjas at Camp or something like that. No, it was my first camp. My first camp was Big Ball. Yeah, so it was oh, 2009. Okay. Was yeah. 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 No, and like that is a good martial arts movie. Okay. I don't yeah. think that's what I, I have. I have two that it's are up movie. at the top. <laughs> One, I don't think anyone here has seen. What? One is, um, it was, it's Bruce Leroy. Yeah. No, I've never seen, seen it. it. I think I know Have what you you're talking about. So yeah. it's Bruce Leroy is basically Enter the Dragon. Yeah. But with a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he has an really? afro. And why it's so great. It's so great. Why would so you just great. go with like Bone and Blood though? See, that is Michael Jai White. That's, that's, my, that's what I was going to say oh for my second one. That yeah. Those two are my top. Dude, like yeah. One Bone is... is yeah. uh, that jump sidekick in the in the bathroom scene. The bathroom scene. Just, oh, the bathroom oh scene alone. It opens on the bathroom scene. And that is one of my favorite Dude. fights 
ever. Him versus what's his name? Um, what is that guy's name? Oh, I can't. Oh my gosh, the wrestler. The, who? Please not, look up. Uh, Macho look up. Man Randy Savage. No, not Macho okay, Man look Randy Savage. Uh, look Blood up and Blood and Bone cast. Yeah. It's it's the it's the really dark black guy. No, I know who you're talking about. That Wrestling. um no, he was like a like a UFC fighter yeah, for yeah, a while. Yeah. He fought in like um the fake wrestling stuff too for yeah. a little bit. Huh? Which character? In Blood and Bone, he, he was a bad blood. guy. He was he he would have been like Kimbo Slice. Kimbo, Kimbo Slice! Slice! Oh that's yes! a UFC fighter. I know that Kimbo guy. Slice. Yes. That's what I Oh Slice my gosh, that would have bothered me. That would have bothered me oh, for yeah. so long. But yeah, Kimbo Slice was in it, and there's a really Kimbo good video. Slice. Yeah, how do you forget Kimbo? There's, there's a great no, video I'm... of Kimbo Slice working and training with Michael Jai White, and it's just, ugh. No. My, oh, I love that video. I forgot Kimbo Slice because I was like, man, what's his name? And all I could think of was two guns because, you know, a Kimbo and Kimbo, but I didn't get to the... <laughs> I didn't get to the word of Kimbo, so I'm just like, it's not two guns. Not two guns. If I say two guns, I'm going to look stupid. On the internet, slash. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Gotta I'm, love Kimbo. I, th- I think those are all like, absolute great movies. Mm-hmm. The Big Boss, that's a that's a it's super good. Movie. And it's yeah. the height of Bruce Lee when he still yeah. had, like, the trap exactly. stuff. It was, it was yeah. top tier Bruce Lee. It was top. Question. Oh, yeah. Do you count, do you count, um, what is with the bride... Kill Bill. Do you count Kill Bill as a martial arts movie? I never yes. watched Kill Bill. Okay, yes. like, Kill Bill. Having Hold martial on. arts and being a martial arts movie doesn't okay. necessarily okay. be the same. Hold on, here's the thing. I love like, Kill Bill. Because like in the first movie, there's something like 76 kills. Flat, could you look it up? How many people die in the first Kill Bill movie? There, well, there's the, at least 88 of them. Cause... Oh, yeah, that's true. Because she kills oh, right. all the Tokyo 88. 88. Yeah. So, like, the kills. Like, scene. Okay. <laughs> in the whole movie, like, what? Two people she get shot? She actually killed 87 of them because she let the boy... Can we, like, add, but can still. we add another list of the movie? Because I've never seen this. But you've never seen Kill Bill? Wait. I watched okay, the okay. beginning of Kill Bill. Never I've never seen so, Kill Bill. Yeah, we'll come back to this. <laughs> but, okay, so oh for God. our top movies, we have The Big Boss. Yes. Blood and Bone. Mm-hmm. Or, or Bruce Leroy. Bruce, Bruce Leroy. Bruce and Bruce Ip Man. And Ip Man. And I never watched that, but I know you're talking about the... I know he taught Bruce Lee, so he's got to be cool. Oh, yeah. No, he's Bruce Lee's cool. He's so I'm just still... What's that law of, like, trans... Uh, Surprise! Transitive problems. Transitive problems. How have you not seen Kill Bill? Um, Bill? so that I haven't. Is that I watched huh? a little bit of the beginning? Like, yeah, but like I we played. Yeah, we, we, we have not watched Kill so Bill like times. Him. Not Kill Bill. Not yes, Kill Bill. we. No, no. There is no way. My name's Buck, and I like to fuck. <laughs> you think that was that was played at a kids camp? <laughs> I've watched just enough of movie to get to that part. <laughs> no, okay, so I think Kill Bill is definitely a martial arts movie. There's like 15 minutes of the movie where she's just learning martial That's arts. True. But like, she does a one inch punch out of a coffin. She kills 90 something people with a sword. That's fair. No, that's fair. That's I'll give fair. that. I'll that's give fair. it that. But like movies similar, so like Kingsman, I wouldn't consider a martial no. arts movie. Kingsman's not John martial John Wick, movie. even John Wick three that had the ninjas that use swords, yeah. still wouldn't that's consider all a martial arts. Well, no, but the other thing too is like Batman's not a martial arts movie either. Yeah, Batman's yeah. got the same Batman's thing. Batman's martial it's arts. all melee he's, weapons. There are martial arts, there and there are, is a bit of training. Yeah, but he's. It's, but it's, it's not central to the movie. It's not a martial arts movie because the whole thing in Kill Bill, right, is it's just this internal struggle inside of a group of martial artists. Yeah, it's based all about martial. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Okay, yeah, but I like those. Those are some good answers. They're all good movies. I haven't seen It Man in a while though. I I really need to watch that. We're gonna see it tonight because it's making me angry. Oh my gosh! How? How? He hasn't been out. How long have you been training? How long have you been training? Ninety-five. She kills ninety-five people. people None of them with a gun. It's a martial arts movie. It's a martial arts movie. There's. Are there any guns? In Kill Bill, there's yes. No and the, other than Buck, the first Buck scene, other than the first scene, oh, that's right. At the end, because Buck has a forty-four. And the, the other girl, she has, she has a gun. That's which, right. Girl. Which other girl? The one with the one. Well, the one she throws. Oh, that's right. That's right. She does have a gun. The, that's a Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. They're both Quentin Tarantino and I, movies. Sorry, and you love Tarantino movies. I do love Tarantino movies. Tarantino movies are amazing. That's right. The 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 whip chain girl at the end was also. Boss. The Who second was? one only has nine kills. The second one only has they nine kills. They took a little break. They, they decided well, to calm there's down. there's no 88 Well, because she's training. That's right. Because she's that's just no, hunting Bill. You know, like half the movie her, is her driving her car and gear yeah, through South America. It's more direct. Them. That's right. Yeah. It's more direct. Okay. Which makes sense. Yep. Do we have any comments? Any new questions? Uh, yeah. Someone wants to know, is there, uh, sorry, Megalink again, wants to know, is there a way to effectively teach Bagua? 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 Ba- Bagua? Bagua? Bagua self-teach. is... Self-teach? Oh my gosh. Oh, Self- okay, oh, yes, self-teaching okay, so and yes and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. 
if you have a a buddy. good martial arts background already and a buddy, okay. you can teach yeah, yourself yeah. Bagua. Because you gotta feel it. You gotta you feel it. Gotta if you party. have by the way, for those of you that don't know, Bagua is what airbending and avatar was based off of. So um, it's it's the circle circle walking stuff. stuff that you're. Yeah. So if you have a buddy and you already have a base of martial arts, but if you're trying to traditional self, martial if, arts preferably, yeah, traditional martial arts preferably, probably yeah. probably older a kung style fu, fu. Like it needs to be Chinese. Any, any, yeah, Chinese art. Chinese. So Chinese art. If you get a Japanese style, a big trusted. Front or even a style. Korean style that's more that's, strict with that's the lines. Angles. No, yeah, it's just. It's not going to really you, go so like well. It's just... And here's the thing. If you're going to teach yourself martial arts, one, it's always better to find a teacher. Always. However, there are situations where you can't always ha- get that. I get it. Totally understand. Yeah. If you're going to teach yourself martial art, don't start with something like Bai Bua. Start... <laughs> like... Yeah. Don't do yeah. that. No. Start with like... Start with Tai Chi. Well, start, with... Tai, start with Tai Chi. Yeah, you can start with... Tai Chi, not as much as I trust um, earlier. Aikido. Shaolin. Aikido. You can start with Kung Judo, Fu. Even. You can yeah. start with Kung Fu if you want to. There's a lot of basic Kung Fu forms that you can teach yourself yeah. fairly Traditional effectively. Yeah, martial arts are easy. Shotokan Karate is a good one too. Yeah. But... Uh, that's a little... Tense, you well, know? still, it's still. I, it's I think it's, still, I think that was too straight up. I think that was too straight up. I think if you go from that, I think I think if you go from that, but I'm saying if you go from Shotokan to Bagua. Oh yeah, no, no, because that's their. Oh, no, no, no. Awesome. Awesome. If you're if you're, if your target tense, right? is Bagua, start with Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, I would say Wushu. Yeah, Wushu. Shaolin, that's only asked like Shaolin. So you think you Shaolin, 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 yeah, Shaolin, Shaolin Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yes. Uh, when talking about finding a teacher, uh, what are the kind of instructors you should look out for, like red flag? Ooh, uh, this yeah, is a good a, one. Red flag instructors. Oh, there's I mean, a lot of they, those. I mean, pedophilia. One, one at a time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one at a time. One yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, start here. Go ahead. If you go t- for it. If, if, so, if, if they start teaching you, all right, and they start uh, asking to see you outside of class, that's usually, that's, it, very early on, that's usually a red flag. <laughs> Yeah. Like if they if they start trying to see you outside of class early on yeah. when you're just starting. Like yeah. they're either trying to rope you into helping them start like start their own shit. That's not right? yeah. Cuz because they get be like, "Oh, you want to you want do you want more lessons? You're going to help me go do this." Yeah, like, fa- favors is a favor, good favor favor stuff. Have, is favors a is is Don't a good that. line to it's have. Also, also um honestly, I think looking at their high-ranking classes. So, like, let's yeah. say you go Look into, a, a, into a, a building, right? See if you can not... Don't watch the beginner classes as much. Like, watch yes, that's classes. good to know what you're getting into. Watch the advanced classes. Watch the black belt classes. Because that's what they're going to turn you into. Because that, that's your end result. Yeah. And so if you can look at those those high ranks, if you can look at those black belts and, and you want to do that, you want to look like that, yeah. it's a good thing. That's mm-hmm. what you want. And even if... Even if this is just defining what art you want to learn, like if you go into a kung fu black belt class, you're gonna see what you're gonna be learning, um, and so just looking at that black belt class will help you decide whether you like it or it's a complete sham, like it's yeah. a joke. I think another big red flag would be looking at their their student body. If you are not the same approximate age as that student body, you're gonna be left behind. If there are mainly people that are older than you. There, you're as an instructor, okay, and having been an instructor for like seven years, okay, you are always going to preach to the biggest body you can. And when you teach, you're not going to be able to get everybody. So if you are younger than the main body of that student body, you're going to be left behind in that class. If you're older, you're going to be left behind in that class because they're going to focus on the most amount of people, especially with how martial arts is now where it's so much of a business. Mm-hmm. It's it's a law of averages. If you focus on an outlier, <clears throat> you're going to lose the main body of your students. So that's not necessarily a red flag, but it's definitely something to look, something to look for. out for. So yeah. what do you think about the, the more kin fr- kid-friendly shift of the mar- like martial arts shift towards the more kid-friendly Whoa. <laughs> oh, y'all are red now. What? Filter time. Oh, just, just swipe on it. Where? Swipe <laughs> the camera. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay. Oh. Kid friendly shit. Kid yeah. friendly stuff. I think yeah. a lot of things can be very kid friendly. I, I think yeah. there's no problem with it as long as you it's as long separate. as you acknowledge that it's separate. It's got to be separate. You yeah. can't. It can't be put on the same level, especially for certain things like. Like uh, like the combat part of it, like boxing, jujitsu, kid like there are kids in a in yeah. Thailand stuff who learn to do kickboxing and Muay Thai at seven. Yeah. Right? They're fighting they're fighting stuff at mm-hmm. seven. You can make it kid friendly, 
But you, like you said, it has to be at a different level. Like, look, this is not where we go full out. Exactly. I think, I, this yeah. is not full force I killing think, each other. No, I, I think it's possible, but not even from like a school standpoint. I think it's just asking what I think about it personally. I mean, I don't... I Making it kid-friendly is not... I don't like that it's kid friendly so much. I enjoy that it's accessible to kids. Mm -hmm. I started training at five years old, okay? But when I went in and we started training, we trained hard. We trained just like the adults. We went hard. We did a workout before class and after class. Kid, I have no problem with kid accessible, but doing so much to make it kid friendly, I think what that does is that inevitably allows weaker willed children to get in and train and throughout that process get black belt and I think that that oh, kind of important. devalues the dough walk and the belt for everybody else by allowing these soft kids that have been you know just coddled because of that's how the studio yeah. shifted I think there's I mean I well, think then, there's well, a lot it's, about- and it's a direct it's a direct path to pay to win black belts yeah okay like, yeah if you're talking about traditional martial arts yes Does it, it also depends um, on if what it's a case. comment you can no, no, no. you can interrupt us no, by the way so Megalink again wants to know so he say he can't afford to go to a studio what's the best way to teach yourself mm. books Books are really good. Yeah, because books, books are always consistent. If you can books, find a unified book, there's, there's online videos. Yeah. There's YouTubes. There's well, like he, here's my thing. So like with our art that we started with Tong Sudo, okay, mm. our book is going to be way better than any other device because we we, we have a concept in Tong Sudo. It's called Rupa. It means the river divides. Okay, and so that talks about how. As an instructor teaches his students, and his students teach more of them, and it goes down the family tree. Their own, your own personal style will bleed into your teaching, and that will bleed into your students' teaching, and so it will eventually be like playing telephone over a thousand years, but with you know body movements. And so the main issue that people are going to see with that is that, uh, you know, with with that changing, is you're going to lose a lot of what the martial art was meant to be. For us, we have a book. Can you just fucking hit the door, please? <laughs> I got it. Hold on. Mm-hmm. He's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. There's a cat over there. It's all right. So, anyway, um, but we have a martial arts book that, because our martial art, we're blessed enough that our martial art is still very traditional in nature, and it was founded That's in 1945. Cool. So, yes. in our book, every movement that it talks about the form, it says, do this with your body, and it shows a picture of Grandmaster Wong Ki, the guy who made up the martial art is pictured doing the movement. So when we have arguments about, no, this form is done this way, no, this form is done this way, it we is. have an argument for about 35 seconds, we pop open the book, we look at the picture, and the guy who was right laughs at the other dude. And that's it. And that's, that's the it. end of the that's discussion. The because, and, that, and that's how our martial art works. It's like, hey, the founder did it this way, this is correct, and that's the end of the if story. If your martial art has ancient texts, and that's and that's if you're yeah. that's if you're trying to learn oh. the martial art. Yeah, that's not yeah. for self defense. That's not for that's for the art stunt thing. fighting. That's oh, not yeah. for tricking. That's for if you wanted to learn martial art. If you were learning tricking, I think videos and Zoom calls, like because you know everything's yeah. going on, you can't always get to a studio. It's not always open. So Zoom calls and videos are going to be super important because with things like stunt fighting, with things like stage shows and uh, per- the performance aspect, it's less about to the book and more about does mm-hmm. it look nice? Does it flow well? Is it is it going to capture the audience's attention? That's, that is the goal. And so having videos and then posting it to see what people think if you post it and it you know and people don't like it you can see this isn't the route i'm gonna change it make it look maybe sharper maybe pop it here instead of you know waiting uh, i'm gonna go faster in these places versus this spot that'll kind of help you learn what is entertaining and what actually isn't when you post it i think yeah like to, to let up even if you just show it to your friends mm-hmm yeah, what do you think? Of, yeah, fighting wise, because he that's Space tricky. Down. This is yeah. So okay. so uh, yeah. martial arts wise, I think book we can agree on that. Yeah, yeah. For tricky, fighting, oh, actually, I was thinking about that, and then just didn't transition it in my head. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I was thinking about it while you're talking, spaced you out. Yeah, but uh, like, how would you teach yourself fighting? Fighting. Fighting. I mean, like, what, what well, would be the best the, way? The, I mean, I guess part of it is one. fighting. Like, it, it's the hard. I don't think it's the hardest one. 
Well, to teach yourself. It's the hardest one to teach yourself because yeah, because in order to fight, you can't fight yeah. alone. It li- you literally have to go to a, you need to go to a gym. You can find stuff online, right? There are good there are good boxing videos and videos for technique on how to throw how to throw a kick, but it's for fighting. It's for it's for consensual violence. Yeah, and so and what that means, no, for it to be a consensual agreement, you have to have two people. Yeah. That term is that, really good. <laughs> I know. I just like because it throws people off. Consensual violence. So you have to yeah, have another person. It is. The only way to learn and how to you fight can't is really to do it. spar with and people. And you can't really practice. do it well in your backyard. Well, you, 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 can do, you can practice in your backyard. You got to punch your back. But like, you but like it, right? You can shadow box because part of it the, is But you can't go out to the same extent. You can't no, actually. You can't. Because safety. You, you well, don't have. Unless you have access to mats. Unless you have access to gear in which case you got, I mean you got a there's, backyard there's a do you have punching do you have do you have mitts or like mitts what do you, do you have gloves you got shin pads you got mouthpiece you got a person on the other, other side going to spar with you and not take your head off yeah well I mean and so honestly having in. a ref is so so yeah, having like, a third party is too. so, so they like, can okay. see it so, so in the to frame of fight, the question you gotta, gotta get a partner so but do you think it's things. possible okay so like so you gotta get a partner so do you think it's possible to watch like YouTube, watch boxing workout videos on YouTube. Yeah. Get your friend and learn. No, d- yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think Kimbo Slice was? Kimbo Slice was a dude who this taught himself true. to fight in the backyard. This is true. Okay. okay. This Kimbo is true. Slice is an example cool. of that. Yeah. Right. He it's was a professional hard. Bellator. Like he got paid to fight people, and he started off teaching himself in the backyard. All right. Trust you. Like it's possible. So it's just it's hard. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's possible. A question, probably more directed at DJ. But okay. I have a question. Um, Trollface wants to know which. Do you prefer katana or wakizashi? Katana or wakizashi. Okay, so it's... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, for tricking. For tricking? Because, I mean, for fighting, obviously, I want the extra three inches of reach. The katana. Give me me the reach. (laughs) So this, I'm not going to unsheathe it because we'll get um, demonetized... Uh, or we'll get banned. We'll get banned on TikTok for sure if I do. Okay. 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 However, this... I call it a katana, but it's not for my size. This, yeah, that's for my, size. this is what's called wakasashi. 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 Come on, you watch anime, you know how to talk. Not Japanese. that much, um, but it's it's shorter, so I can spin it f- faster, and I can do tricks where it spins closer to my body without having that extra three inches to worry yeah. about hitting myself and doing. Well, that. it's more balanced, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and, and it being shorter, your balance and points I'm, here I'm as opposed sure, to there. I am sure if it was longer, you can train yourself to learn the new balance. Yeah. Be a different it's thing, just same trick. The, the ease of being able to do, especially like I do this trick where I toss it up around my back. Yeah. Having a longer one would suck. Yeah, doing a voodoo child with that long yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, it would. Because it it on that spin right there, you, it comes you could, right there in front of your eyes. Or, yeah. or when you do the uh, the helicopter tosses, you would you would clip yourself oh, yeah. nonstop. And so I find that the shorter ones work better for me. And it also means that I can unsheath it while it's strapped to my back, which also means also, that I can do the seen... skits and stuff. Yeah. Shoo, exactly. And so, one hundred percent. Yeah. And so that's why that's why I would choose. I like shorter swords, in general. This one that I have is a twenty inch blade. So you're looking at like, is it what? And uh, twenty two might be twenty two inches. Oh, might be twenty two. Yeah, that's the bottom end of Wakasashi's even. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 yeah. short. It is short by design. Shotos. It is short by design. Yeah. And so. For tricking, definitely that's... shorter. If you're if you're you know trying to get into fencing or something like that, I'm sure. well, like fencing. I don't think you're bringing yeah, the talent to your fencing match. Yeah, I mean, I would, but I also don't On fence. So. <laughs> <laughs> I also I just... don't fence. Wow. So <laughs> Can you imagine a kid pull, pulling up first day on fencing. Um, well, bring kid brings out a little needle. Well, it's got a little weight. I would too. request it. I would 100 percent request it. Oh yeah. Okay. So here's one again. Do you prefer a sword or staff for tricking? Ooh. That's from. Ooh. Oh, staff. Yes. Staff. Oh, okay. I think okay. Staff. Let, uh, you go first. You go first. Why? I want to answer last. I want to see what you because you uh, you well, done I've, I've, Yeah, but, but I haven't done sword that much. I would say staff because staff is what I was better at. Okay. Well, no, I tried sword. It just felt clunky. You staff, if you both. do a staff, it's real I've balanced done stuff. I've done both. You've done both. What do you think? Um. I liked. I liked staff better because there's a lot more Feels that you like can, you can do with a more. staff. Well, because like with a staff, there's way more manipulations. There's because a there's way more places you can grab. There, yeah, there is a way to spin a staff that has not been discovered yet. 
That's true. There is there is not a way to throw a baton that has not been discovered yet. And so therefore, there's not a way to throw the sword that hasn't been discovered yet. It's because just, with just such a short grip and how to swing it, there's you're limited on how you can hold it and therefore how you can swing it and how you can toss it. The only thing that you can do is throw it higher and do more gymnastics before it lands and you catch it. I think a bow staff is a lot more expansive, but I always scored higher with sword. And I think I was a little better. So I, I, think, I, so I, think, I, think, I think sword flashier. requires different... Mm, I wouldn't say different skill levels. So I think sword, like as far as skill-wise, starts off higher than bow staff, but doesn't go as high as bow staff. So like, if it's yeah, a scale, yeah. right? Bow staff, bow staff has a really low, bow staff has a really low entry yeah. and a really high expert. Sword has a high entry and a low expert. Yeah. And so... I think, like, for if for social media and but stuff, like TikTok and stuff, Sword will always do better it's because it's everybody it's loves... It's yeah, because you're going to do that one little toss. You're yeah. going to be outside your backyard. Exactly. The sun's going to glint, glint off glint, it. And you're like, and oh, going to be like, oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Like I said, it's but flashier, like, it scores better in tournaments. Bow staff, you can, do, you can do so much amazing stuff with yeah. bow staff. And I hate it because I love... My bow staff tricks way more than I love my sword tricks. But yeah, it's like and, swords, are, swords but get the views. Swords get the views. One hundred percent. Swords get the views. And don't get me wrong, I love tricking with both weapons. Both are fun to trick with. Both I th- love in like I love watching people trick with both weapons. Yeah. However, I think a, a bow staff tricker has way more variety and way more ability. Double bow staffs are cool. Exactly. You, double you, bow, double are bow cool. staffs. I know you oh. hate it, but they're cool. I do they are it. cool. I do hate they it. are cool. They're not useful. At, not useful and I get people all. that ask Don't me. Don't fight the double bow I, I, I talked to someone a who little bit that, ago that, that, that tried to, to, to tell me. He was, I don't know who it was. It was just Mason someone that messaged me some, that said they fight with double bow staff. And I was like, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You might... Do you, mean, do you mean do, do, like a scrim of sticks? Well, maybe? It, was just, a scrim. Like, it was a poor translation. They're both javelins and he just... <laughs> <laughs> just... Like, oh, wow, you got a lot of... Wow. Yeah, like, oh, wow, well, you got a lot of reach. I know, right? <laughs> Wham! 50 meters out. It's well, there, there is no way. There is no way to fight with double voice. I mean, you can quote me on that. Like, 100%. Quote me oh, on that. Tri- the triple one where you just oh like that the the <laughs> tricycle hat. I do not like it. You I don't like how it's floppy. It, it is. I don't like it. It takes. What's your stance on chain whip though? Yeah, well, I sure love my chain whip. Chain whip's awesome. I love I, my chain whip. I suck at chain whip. Chain whip's so I fun. Suck at Yo, chain whip. Use your chain whip. Yeah, I have his chain whip. Actually. He has it. He's he's it. That's why I brought this up. This was like <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks like we're running out of time. All right, so yeah, we're coming to the end. So oh, yeah. thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, if you just did, if no, I'll, I'll I'll end with that later. Nice. First, I'm gonna end the uh the podcast. Nice. So guys, appreciate you guys. If you want to check out merch down in the description, and we have the links to these guys' accounts. If you want to follow them, <laughs> they do cool stuff. I don't know if you actually post anything. I know you post pictures. I post stuff. Just link his I'll Twitch. I'll link his yeah, Twitch. I'll link your Twitch. There link you go. I'll link your Twitch. Link my Twitch. Instagram. Instagram. It'll be perfect. Uh, we'll link my all of them will be down Instagram. in the description below. Just jump started. <laughs> Just jump started. Uh, but again, leave comments on this video of questions you want us to answer in the future because we plan on doing this more if you guys like it. So I mean, yeah. until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.